Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the new steel beam with torsion ASD module that has been added to the US beam calculators. Let's start. This calculator is very similar to any other beam calculator that you may have used in clear calcs. Uh, first, let's take a look at the references and the assumptions used. For reference, uh, we are using the AISC 360-16 ASD and assumptions are very similar to the uh, steel beam calculator. Um, we are not, uh, actual loads are assumed to be negligible. Uh, members are to be straight and prismatic. Uh, they're not going to be tapered. And uh, the last one, which is important for this uh, module, is that this template only performs torsional checks for closed sections. Now let's start with the calculator. The first thing that you're going to be, uh, you're going to see is the uh, section diagram. You can change the section uh, by going to the member selector and choosing um, whichever section you like. Again, as mentioned, these are going to be only for HSS members only at this uh, for now. After you've selected your member, uh, you can change the yield strength, uh, beam plan length, and also the bracing conditions uh, if you'd like using this drop down. And also, you can uh, use the uh, you can change your support conditions by using this table. After you are happy with your geometric properties, uh, now you can go ahead with your loads. Um, the first thing that you're going to be uh, you're going to see is your required torsional load. Now you have to remember that this is your factor torsion load, and this is a moment load as you can see by the um, units here. And uh, basically, what this is is uh, what is twist the load that is twisting your beam. Uh, here. Um, very similar to the steel beam, you can uh, designate um, distribute loads, line loads, and point loads using these tables here. Again, you can change any design criteria uh, based, the, based on the project that you're designing. After you're done entering the torsion load and uh, your loads uh, for your project, you can scroll up to the summary section and you can see that this is your torsional load that you've entered and the allowable torsional strength. Basically, what this utilization is, is your torsional load divided by your allowable torsional strength. You can check out how this is calculated by scrolling down to the calculation sections and look at the closed section torsion checks. Currently, we are only showing the critical torsion stress, but if you go to the detailed mode, you're able to see all the calculations that, are, uh, that we're uh, doing. One last thing that uh, we do consider is that if your required torsional load is more than 20% of your allowable, you have to check for combined uh, flexural um, shear and actual loads. So if you scroll down, I'm just going to change this to like 50. Now uh, we're going to check for combined torsion shear and flexural forces. As you can see, uh, we are at 54% which means that this is uh, th this value equals to 0 0.54, which is uh, less than one uh, defined by the ISC. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let us know if you have any feedback or any questions about the torsion calculator. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.